Hi guys, welcome to my channel. I'm Maddie. I'm a reseller on eBay, Poshmark, and Mercari. And in today's video, we're doing a thrift with me. It is dollar day at my local thrift store, meaning that one out of the five color tags is only a dollar or 99 cents or a dollar oh seven if we're factoring in tax. This is my favorite day to go thrifting because I can get items for my own personal business. And then I can also take items to Uptown Cheapskate, which is a buy sell trade store in my area and then make some instant cash i am going to try and go to three different dollar days i haven't done that in a while so it is going to be a very long thrift day for me i do start my new part-time job where i will be a reading teacher next week so i do want to stock up on inventory before i start that because i'm not really sure how it'll affect my sourcing i get off every day around like noon so it's not too terribly bad the thrift stores in my area normally open at like nine so in theory it shouldn't affect it that much but i do just want to like stock up as much as possible and try and get ahead so that's where i'm at i will keep you guys updated as i go to each of these stores i'm always excited to see doc martens i don't really encounter them much in my area but they wanted 76 dollars for that so i left those behind then I got this for 99 cents. Anytime you see a green tag, it will be 99 cents. This is a really great brand called Hill House. This is the nap dress style, and I did end up paying $7 for this. I found another nap dress, and then I found a third one as well, but I guess I didn't get the footage of it. They were all by each other. This is a brand called Liberty Love. I just picked it up based on the style. It was 99 cents. I'm going to take it to the BST. This is Draper James. I'm no longer excited about this brand. Same with this. This is a J. Crew blazer. It was new with tags, but I'm just not excited about it anymore. This I would have gotten for a dollar. This is Rebecca Taylor, but it doesn't do that well. Anthropology for a dollar is always a yes for me. And there is my full cart from the first store. Stop number one down. Can you believe it? Three Hill House dresses. I've only ever found Hill House once before, and it was a skirt, and it sold like immediately for I think like $40. So it's already a good thrift day so i ended up getting 38 pieces for a total of 66 dollars and 70 cents so that is a steal let's keep this thrift energy going i'm going to another dollar day sale at a different location kind of off topic but if you guys have any good audiobook recommendations let me know because i do like to listen to audiobooks whenever i am commuting places right now i'm listening to little fires everywhere by celeste ng and it's fantastic i read the book like physically read it um 2020 during covid and i really loved it I like to use audiobooks as a way to reread books. I love uh, memoirs on audiobook and then any historical fiction. So if you guys have any recommendations, please do let me know. Starting off, stop number two, really strong with this Reformation dress. This was $5 and I was really excited to find this. Then I found this Calvin Klein dress for just 99 cents. This is more formal than I'm used to with Calvin Klein. And then up next, we have this pair of Tory Burch flats. They were pretty beat up so I did leave them behind especially because they wanted nine dollars for them so I put those back then we have Proven Connection I really like this brand so I ended up paying three for it it's like a burnout shirt and here is my cart from the stop number two down it has warmed up outside which I am so happy about I do not like the cold the second store was kind of lackluster except of course for the Reformation dress everything else was pretty much bread and butter I got 21 pieces for $35.50 one more stop to go the third location had a really priced up everlane pair of jeans they were new with tags but they wanted twenty dollars and i would probably only pay like three this i paid five dollars for it's called nation ltd it's a brand that sold at revolve and i thought the style was cute 99 cent fine this is knox rose a target brand definitely my favorite target brand to resell and here is my cart from the third location officially done with my third and final stop of the day i'm pretty tired it's only 12 15 so i made really good time but definitely getting burnt out so i'm glad it's over i didn't get too many clips in the last store because there really wasn't anything all that exciting for resale i did find some books for myself which is always exciting um i got 13 items for 23 dollars and 94 cents 
and I will show you guys all of those items when I go back home. I will show you guys what I'm taking to Uptown, where I sell everything, and then also what I'm going to keep to list for myself. Okay, I am back three stores in one day, about an hour in each store, I would say. I am tired. I used to when I first started reselling. I could like thrift all day long. It was like heaven to me. And now that I've been doing it for a few years, after like two hours, I'm like, looking at my watch you know i'm like huh kind of tired my eyes are getting tired my arms are getting tired going through the racks how embarrassing i am going to add up all of my totals from today so i can tell you guys how much i spent and then my average cost of goods yes i'm going to use a calculator because math is hard so I spent $126.14 total. I got 72 items, that's including the books I got for myself. And that makes my average cost of goods for the day $1.75, so I'm happy with that. Starting with what I got at the first store. The first store is my favorite store to go to out of all of these locations. They just typically have the best stuff. And then, of course, the first store is probably gonna have the best stuff because I'm right there open, I am ready to go. People act crazy at that store though. I wish I could have taken footage. I didn't want to because that seems like an invasion of strangers' privacy, but like multiple people were going around the store with two carts overflowing. One woman is always there and she just gets like the most random stuff. And today she had one cart full of bicycles. Like the bicycles were just stacked on top of each other. Like there was no way she could see over them. And then the other cart just full of shoes. Like it's wild. So anything you see with the green tag was 99 cents and then with anything with any other color tag it was full price. So this is a full price item. I spent $7 on these. This is just a pair of Spanx. I normally wouldn't spend this much on Spanx anymore. They just don't do that well anymore. But these are the like faux leather shiny ones. These are the only style Spanx that still sell really quickly. They don't get what they used to get. You used to be able to get like $60 for this and now I'm probably going to get like 25 to 35 so i just got it because the sell through rate is really good these are in a size small i'm gonna take these to the buy sell trade this is just a pair of fabletic leggings i'm honestly not sure if they're gonna take them they're gonna pick you with fabletics but i'm gonna give it a go Okay, if you guys have watched my recent videos, I saw these whenever they were the full price. They wanted $24.82 and I just waited it out until it became the 99 cent color tag. These are a pair of Tory Sport leggings. Tory Sport is Tory Birch's line, but it honestly doesn't do that good. These are in a size extra small. They have a back zip right here for your keys. So they're cute, but again, like 25 to 35. Another pair of Fabletics. This one's new with tag, and I'm gonna take that again to my buy sell trade. This is a Banana Republic dress. I like selling mall brands if they're cute style. This like plaid is going to do really well. It's just a nice piece to wear to work. And then look how cute the cuffs are with the little ruffle detail. It is loft size extra small. And I just got this because it's like really colorful. It reminds me of a Maeve dress from Anthropology. So again, like 15 to 25. This is Bailey 44. This is something I would definitely only get for a dollar. This is any size medium. Sometimes this is sold on like higher end websites and then sometimes it's just in like Stitch Fix. Most of the time I would say it's just in Stitch Fix. This is a black dress and then it has a faux leather trim. So again, just another really versatile piece, probably like 15 to 25. Oh my gosh, I lost my mind when I saw all of these. So you guys saw me get the Hill House dresses. This is the first one. This is in a size extra small. The a, I only paid $7 for it. Incredible. This is the nap style. Would have been perfect for Christmas, but I still have faith that that will sell really well i want to say like upwards of 75 dollars i could be off this is just target wild fable i'm gonna try this at the buy sell trade and just see what happens um they don't always buy target brands but these are kind of trendy with the acid wash and then they tend to like overall so we'll see if i have to sell them myself it's no big deal 
This is a Francesca's brand called Miami. Just a cute floral dress, long sleeve, so it's in season. This is Cynthia Rally Again, another piece that I would only pay a dollar for, another brand. This is 100% linen. This was sold at TJ Maxx, Marshalls, those type of stores. But it's just multicolored. Again, linen's really popular. There are pockets. So just a cute sundress, 15 to 25. Target, and I'm gonna try and sell this one myself. This is Who, What, Where. This is in a size medium. And it's a really cute floral button all the way down, midi to maxi length dress. Great for work. This is for the buy sell trade. This is a pair of Forever 21 short alls, little floral pattern here. Again, for the buy sell trade, this is just Hollister. Just a floral dress, a lot of, a lot of stretch in the bust in the back. This is a pair of Kenzie booties. This brand is sold at Macy's. And I'm gonna take these to the buy sell trade. Just a nice pair of faux leather booties. They're in really good condition. This is a J. Crew dress, and I think this will do pretty well because it is black, so a really good basic. And then it is a midi length and it's tiered. Really cute. For the buy sell trade, this is Vera Moda. I honestly don't know where this is sold. I think just like boutiques. It's a cute yellow dress, ties in the back. It's got a slight puff sleeve, which is still on trend. I'm gonna try this at the buy sell trade, but again, they're pretty picky. Wild Fable, size large. Myself, this is Universal Thread, size large. Again, Target. And this is just an ombre dress. This is definitely something I would only pick up for a dollar. This is Holding Horses, which is anthropology, but super, super outdated with like the chevron swiggles. It reminds me of Charlie Brown shirt. Another pair of Fabletics that I'm going to take to the buy sell trade. Target again, universal thread. This is in a size extra small, really great red color. It is missing the detachable belt, but that shouldn't really affect anything. Like 15 to 20, again, I'll sell that myself. This is another one of the Hill House nap dresses. This again is in a size extra small. This one's a really great green color. This is perfect for the springtime for the buy sell trade and this is a style based pickup this is liberty love i think that's just like tj maxx but this is just a silhouette that they like the little peasant style and then just a cute green color i will sell this one myself this is loft size extra small and it is a true wrap dress floral prints looks like it'll hit about at your knee this is a pair of Athleta leggings. They are for sure gonna take these at the buy sell trade. I've had these before and sold them myself and they just didn't sell very quickly. Beyond Yoga makes a really similar pattern of this style legging as well, but they'll for sure buy those at the buy sell trade. I'm gonna try this pair of shoes at the buy sell trade. This is by the brand Call It Spring. I picked them up based on style. They're chunky, they're in okay condition they're not like in great condition but i know that chunky tennis shoes are in i don't get the look personally but that's okay as long as they buy it i don't care again i'm gonna try these but they are target a new day i definitely have seen these exact shoes though at my local uptown so just because you see it there it doesn't mean for sure that they'll buy it but i'll try these they're again in pretty good shape and here's the last nap dress by Hill House. Again, size extra small. I wonder why this girl got rid of all of her Hill House dresses. Her loss, my gain. Again, this would have been great for Christmas, but that's okay, I'm certainly not complaining. This is Norma Kamali. I used to send this into the Real Real, but I just don't send anything into the Real Real anymore. The payout structure is just not good so i'm not really sure what i'm gonna do with this 
This is in a size large. I guess I'll just list it myself. Eileen Fisher, this is one size and it is like a linen cape. So it is gray on the front and then black cape, poncho, however you wanna call it. The wide sleeves over here. Of aloe leggings. I'm gonna try them at the buy sell trade, but they're cropped, so I don't think they'll take them, but doesn't hurt to try. J Jill, this is a brand I pretty much only pay a dollar for, but it's a good bread and butter brand. This is in a size small and it's just multicolored. It reminds me of something that they would wear at Sephora. Anthropology HD in Paris. This is in a size six. I've sold this box before. Like 25 probably. I've sold this before as well. This is just MG size small. Sometimes I take this to the buy sell trade, but I'll sell this myself. This is a linen blend, and then it's got a cheetah print on the back. Last time I had it, it sold really quickly, but not for a lot. Chico size zero, which is going to be equivalent to a small, just a striped little jacket. This will take to the buy sell trade. This is Bucky's. If you guys have never been to a Bucky's, it's basically like a mega gas station. They have everything there. They have the most clean restrooms. There's always a line though. And then they have a bunch of snacks and fudge that you can buy. So people love Bucky's. So I'll try that there. They typically like graphic tees like that. And this is the last thing from the last store. This is a pair of booties. This is by the brand JC it's like a boutique brand so again another faux leather pair of booties in really good shape so I'm thinking they'll buy those for sure this is from the second store I went to so at first we have a Calvin Klein dress this is in a size too petite really pretty dress definitely formal wear fit and flare And the first store, they use like actual tags. This one, for whatever reason, uses stapled on tags, even though they're the same thrift chain and it drives me crazy. This is new with tags. It only retailed for $15, but it is a friend shirt. I'm gonna take this to my buy sell trade. Um, I cautioned in the past that you have to be careful about like dating yourself on the graphic tees when you take it to the buy sell trade because there's really young girls there and they may not get the references but i feel like friends is pretty universal it's across generations they've watched it i think i'm safe there but you never know buy sell trade this is just a boutique brand called easel and i picked this up based on the style with it just being plaid and then it's got the distressed hem I've sold things like this to them before. Soma, which I don't always pick up. It's hard to show you guys the tags because of the staples. I don't always pick this up. It's like an intimate sleepwear, loungewear brand. This is in a size small. Elizabeth and James, this is a brand by Mary-Kate and Ashley Olsen. It used to do really well, but now it's sold at Kohl's. So I'm gonna take this to the buy sell trade. It's a cute silhouette. I'm gonna sell this piece myself. This is Talbot Medium Petite. And anytime I find anything that has like an animal or a character on it, it does pretty well. So if you like zebras, Buy sell trade. This is just a cowboy shirt. Talbots. Petite, petite. So like a small petite. Starfish. Cloth and stone. Medium. I will sell this myself, but I definitely would only pay a dollar for a piece like this. That'll probably sell in a bundle. This is Rachel Zoe 100% linen. Again, this is like TJ Maxx, but linen. And then with it being like this Aztec in your face pattern, I picked it up. I don't know how much it'll sell for. Probably not anything crazy. Peruvian Connection. I like this brand. Um, I did pay $3 for it. And for me, that's paying up 
This is like a burnout shirt. It's in a size medium large. It's a velvet shirt. This is by Um G. I'm gonna sell this myself. I do think that my buy sell trade would take it, but velvet does pretty well for me. So I might as well try and maximize my profits. This is for the buy sell trade. This is just a boutique brand called Moon in Madison. And I picked this up based on style. They love these like shredded sweaters. I don't get it again. It looks like your dog chewed it up. I sound like such an old person. Like I know whenever I was in junior high, I would wear like the super distressed jeans because that's what everyone did. Everyone would be like, did you run your jeans through a shredder? And that's how I feel about that sweater. So I'm already becoming that like crotchety old person at 29. Buy, sell, trade. This is a new Tags Forever 21 piece. It retailed for $27.90. All sequins. They love picking up super sequiny things like that. This one is for me, and I did pay up for these. This is a brand I really like to resell. This is called Tiki. It's like a yoga brand. Looks like this size small. And what struck me was I could feel that they were quality, and then the sunflowers. I love sunflowers. So then I was like, okay, I'm going to go ahead and look at the brand, even though they're not the 99 cent color tag. And anytime I've had Tiki's, they've done incredibly well. Next up, we have a Reformation piece. Reformation isn't what it used to be, but occasionally I'll still have success with it. This isn't a size extra small. And I paid $5 for this, which I feel like is reasonable. Then we have a Free People romper. This is in a size 6. I'm going to take this to the buy sell trade. I just don't really like selling free people anymore. It makes me so sad because that used to be one of my favorite brands to resell. I used to get so excited whenever I found it and now it's just way too oversaturated. It's sold at, it's sold in boutiques, it's sold at Macy's, it's sold at TJ Maxx. It's just sold way too many pieces. So unless it's a unique piece, I'm just taking it to the buy sell trade. This is Trina Turk, which doesn't honestly do that well. It's missing the size tag as well. But that's okay i will try and sell this great magenta color loft and i picked this up just because it's a cute little puff sleeve pattern top this is in a size large petite loft normally sells in bundles and same with this brand this is lucky brand again either ebay or a bundle probably to take to the buy sell trade these are just fashion nova they're in pretty good shape and they're that square toe, clear acrylic heel. I definitely think I could sell these myself if they don't take it. They won't sell for a lot, but they're trendy enough and in good enough shape that I definitely can sell those online. And then here's what I got at the last store. I didn't get that much, but that's okay. This is for me to sell. This is linen, Lauren Ralph Lauren, size small. I just really like the color and that it was linen. Again, I would only pay a dollar for that. More Talbots. I thought this was Lily Pulitzer at first though. It just looks like something that she would make, but it's Talbots. This is in a size six petite. J. Jill, small petite. Again, just a good basic. J. Jill normally sells for me on eBay. I'm gonna take this to the buy sell trade. This is new with Tag Easel. They like this brand. I've never heard of this brand before, but this is what it looks like. I don't even know how to pronounce that. Childer? But I liked the graphic on these. It's a skull. It's a skull with stars in its eye, so I figured I'd give it a try. Skull things normally do pretty well for me. This is a style based pickup for the buy sell trade. This is by how Half Heart, it took me a second because they put it all in one word. I was like, can I read that? Half Heart and they like these like slinky style dresses. This is Nation LTD. This is sold on places like Shopbop, Revolve. Hit or miss on the resale market, but I think that this will do well because it's a kind of unique um, neckline here there's a lot of stretch to it and then it's a basic color so that's always good a neutral 
This is a style based pickup. This is Native Daughters, which I think is TJ Maxx or Marshalls. Just a cute crop top, really bohemian, great color. That's for the buy sell trade. And the last clothing piece I have is a Knox Rose Target piece. I love selling Knox Rose. It does really well for me on eBay and Poshmark. Normally it will sell in bundles on Posh. So that is all the clothing. If you guys are interested, I'll show you the books I got. Even if you're not interested, I'm gonna show them anyway. I love to read. I was a librarian for the school I worked at, so I do love to read. And I get all of my books either from the library, through the physical library, or Libby on my Kindle, or I will just find them at the thrift store. So this is Ace of Spades. I've honestly never heard of this book, but it sounded interesting. It's by Amanda Foodie. Then we have The Girls. Again, I've never heard of this. I always just read the inside cover and if it's interesting, I get it. And if it ends up being like a flop, I spent like a dollar, dollar fifty on it, so it's no big deal. And I resell all of my books, so no big deal. Uh, this is by Lori Lansons. This is a book of the month edition and I always like book of the month editions of things. I don't know, it just makes me feel included. I've never had a book of the month membership though. This is a thriller called Just Another Missing Person and I've heard about that one before. And then Frida McFadden, she's a big thriller author. I've read one other book by Frida McFadden. If you have Kindle Unlimited, she's on there. And I thought it was okay, like the twist got me, the writing's really not that great but uh, I like to be involved in what's popular, so this is a popular author. It's called The Perfect Sun. So that was everything that I got at all three stores for both my business and to sell to Uptown Cheapskate. If you guys did enjoy this video, please do make sure that you give it a thumbs up and you hit the subscribe button. If you were interested in anything that I showed, all of my closet and store information is linked in the description box down below. And I will see you guys next video. Bye!